Welcome back to Prison Architect. And let's have a look. What are we up to? Nearly built this. Let's let them do just that. Did I put... It looks like I might not have put a, um, an entrance for them here. They just need something to count as a viable entrance. This was just too complex for the uh, for the the system to work out these strange and unusual joinings as to where it's how it joined up and how it made a single room, but it did pretty well. We got most of it uh, in a single block, and just a couple of places. So these jail doors we can we we'll lock them open and dismantle them because. That staff door actually is the one that we want to use. But that jail door, we can dismantle that. And that one we can dismantle. Now, are there any more doors that we can put in which are going to help? Oh, here's our, here's our next batch of prisoners arriving. <coughs> Right, with our next batch of prisoners, we really need to think about getting uh, the kitchen and canteen fitted out so that we can get them all fed. So, let's get that worked on. Uh, in fact, we'll cancel one of those sinks for the moment. So we'll do three sinks. And one, two, three, four cookers, two fridges, uh, two serving tables, and one, two, three, four tables. And eight benches. Okay. And that will support another four cooks. Okay, can we recruit any confidential informers? We could probably do with calling them into um, security. We've not done that for a little while. How long have we got? Well, we've only got 17 minutes. We'll just let these prisoners arrive and we'll have a look at them. Now, yeah, I wasn't sure if I'd got round to wiring up that door control, but obviously I have. Here comes the visitors. So, who have we got? Ex-law enforcement. Okay, he is going to have to go into protective. And we're going to have to see if we can actually protect him. We may just about have the ability to do that now. We've got stoical and fearless, another fearless, a nobody, a nobody, a skilled fighter. Oof, okay. Now, what this means is, in order to make, to give this one protective prisoner somewhere to go, let's have a look at these guys as well, we're going to have to turn this whole area over to protective custody. Right, you, we're going to make supermax, because we don't know what your unknown is. There's another unknown, so we'll supermax you. An instigator. Okay, he's he's going to be a problem, so we'll put in maximum. 
ordinary, 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 and ordinary. Okay, I'm not sure how many we're expecting actually. Oh, another truckload. Stoical, volatile, ordinary, ordinary, unknown. So we'll put you supermax. Uh, ordinary, unknown, supermax. And stoical. Okay. So, alright, let's see how we're going to manage this. Um, I'll tell you what we are going to do. Before the uh, power station blows, we'll just put a few capacitors in there. And... We can at least have it ticking over slowly. Grants, I think we'll take cell block C. It'll just give us a little bit of extra cash. And we can definitely do crackdown and tool cleanup. Yeah, so that's helped to boost our, our bank balance somewhat. And that jail door can be dismantled. So now yeah we will be able to uh we'll call this a canteen and we'll call this a kitchen uh we'll call this a yard What else do we need? We need a common room and all of this will be a common room. Okay, that, that will do for now. Um, deployment, what we're going to say is protective custody only. Here, 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 and there, and there. In fact, we'll just make this whole zone protective custody only. Custody only. Now, that means that everyone's going to get chucked out. Meanwhile, up here, uh, we've just lost power. Oh, of course, because we're connecting up the kitchen. Well, as soon as they've got the uh, capacitors in place, we'll be stable again. Now, I don't know if that servo will continue to work while the power's out. This one will, because it's powered from this power station. Okay, so we're going to need cooks. And while well, we've got lights out and the electrical the electricity's flashing, we can actually see where we've still got lights in cells and get these dismantled because we're gonna need to fit out these cells pretty damn quick. Okay, that should do us. And then I'm going to see, so we've copied this one and I'm going to put a cell in every one that doesn't have a light to remove. Oops, something's going down.
Okay, we've still got a good bit of cash left. I'm going to need a total of 60 cells. We've got about 10 here, so uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So if I do another 10 here, that will take us to 60 cells kitted out for the prisoners that we've just unhoused. Okay, so a few other things we need to do pretty urgently. Yeah, they're, they're all crammed in the holding cell now. I'll just turn a few of these normal. We seem to have... I thought we had more than one prisoner in a the cell there, but I don't think so. Okay, so we need to tell staff that up here is another staff room. And staff rooms are green. So that's a staff room. And the laundry is here. So this is a laundry. This one's a classroom. Um, this bit here is an infirmary. But these bits here are solitary. Oops, I'll just, there we go. And this bit here is a cleaning cupboard. I'm not going to mark that off just yet. Uh, because the workmen will spend all their time just uh, loading the cleaning cupboards with stuff. Whereas at the moment it would be pretty good if they got the capacitors in place and they got the cells fitted out. Let's just see, so... Oh good, we'll have you as a, an informant. This must not be counted as a... Let's see. Oh no, it does say protective custody only. So we need quite a few more metal detectors and we need some equipment for the common room. There's a lot we need to do up here. But an important thing is to make sure that the staff room functions as a staff room. But let's just have a look now and see how um, the logistics are working. We can... take off some of these staff only areas first. So we'll make that one and... let's see the classroom, the laundry, staff room is fine. Uh, these two can stay staff only, uh, but these officers here, I don't mind if it's prisoners that go and clean them. See, everything else should be shared. Okay. So on the logistics, what I want to know, uh, first of all, prison labour... As many as we can get in there would be good. Uh, it's no good putting them on the laundry yet because they're 
Uh, it's not functioning laundry. But food distribution, let's see how this is working. So this kitchen is cooking for this canteen and that canteen is cooking for these. So that's pretty good. And this kitchen is cooking for that canteen, which is serving these cells and that holding cell, which is exactly how we want it. Good stuff. Okay, have they fitted out the... No, they've not. Right, let's speed things up. So, some other things we need them to do. We need to get them to build these solitary cells. But I think we'll we'll just hold off. We'll let the let the workmen do their thing first. We could be deploying more guards though. So we're going to want more dog handlers. And I'm gonna want one, two, three, four, five six more dogs six more dogs we'll need a couple extra because I think for about every three you need two more because they can't be on duty all the time uh, and let's do the deployments so dog patrols And I want one to walk around these cells here. And then I want another one to walk around here. Now I think where we have two paths that butt up together, I don't think they can tell that this is one loop and this is another loop. So I do think they end up crossing over each other's paths. This one, I'm going to have to put some doors in. So, large jail door here and here. We do want the jail doors there and there as well. Uh oh. Something, something bad's happening. Well, it's, um, an interesting, it was one way to make everything uh, interesting. Where's our guy in protective custody? Oh, there he is. So he's quite happy with himself, but then he's got four cooks to look after him. Um, several guards. Meanwhile, 43 prisoners have serious complaints. Well, 
quite frankly, I'm not surprised. We had best... Let's see, yes, this is a functioning staff room. Now that's a functioning staff room, we can make a functioning infirmary. And the reason why we do it that way round is so that when our doctors rest, they'll go to the nearest staff room. So we can now have two doctors up here. Okay, so the capacitors are being fitted. So we may be able to switch the lights back on now. Oh no, I didn't really say dump, did I? Can I cancel that? No, I can't. Oh, damn it. Right, we'd better tell them to put some more capacitors in then. And yeah, I mean this is this is gonna be a bad area. Can we switch that one? Oh good, well it's stayed up with the capacitors we've got. Okay, so we may want to get a few armed guards, actually. And we'll deploy them. Armed patrol. We want them going through the infirmary. And we want them going into the laundry. So I have one there and let's see I think we need one in the canteen because that's another place where it tends to get interesting. Okay, we um, things would calm down if we fitted out the laundry and we gave them some recreational activities. So let's do that. They're going to need all the things that they had when they were living in the protective custody area. Uh, so we'll give them some uh, some TVs. Put some here. Ooh, ooh. Okay, insufficient funds. Oh, well, as soon as they've finished fitting out a few more of these cells, uh, we'll have uh, the cash from completing this grant.
19 they're awaiting solitary confinement oh dear now we've got plenty enough guards uh, who haven't been uh, allocated something to do and if we close off these areas just with oh of course I can't we'll be able to do that soon we'll be able to get a few more guards deployed let's get some up here Let's get this doctor down here and we'll have you walk down here and just tend to a few of these prisoners that are not looking too good. We'll start closing some of these doors as well. Got any more prisoners that need attending? Right, well, I think I'll call it an episode at this point. Um, Things should calm down quite a lot as the uh, the prison develops more. We'll soon have um, these extra cells fitted out and uh, the additional equipment added. Say common room fitted out. We're um, we're bringing in money quite quickly, and we've got a lot of cash that's just laid out waiting to uh, to be installed. So it won't be long at all before we get the income from completing the uh, cell block C grant. And that will also allow us to take the next grant which will do cell block D. Actually we should keep open the ones that we've not um, done, shouldn't we? That would make far more sense. Right, well thank you for joining me. And uh, oh well, this has been this has been an interesting uh, little episode, and we'll see what happens next time. But glad to see that our one guy who's in protective custody, there he is, um, he's still alive. Although a lot of people here are very nearly dead, but they should be out of there before too long. <laughs> yeah, they're. Um, they are looking quite bad, aren't they? Maybe we should get a doctor over to them. In fact, maybe we'll get two doctors over to them. Let's hope they don't kill the doctors. Right, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.